Well, well, my friends, check out what I have here in the RC workstation. Both of my U.S. military Humvees sitting up here, and I want to take some time to talk about these vehicles because they are super awesome, and they are one of my favorite vehicles in my collection I have. Now, both of these vehicles share a lot of common interests, both being U.S. military Humvees, which is my number one favorite military vehicle of all time and off-road vehicle ever since I was just a little yay dude. I've always been in love with the Humvees and Hummer H1s. And when I got into the RC hobby, I told myself I want to get a military Humvee or Hummer H1 to go crawling and trailing with. And now I have two of them. I also have one on my XCX10 2 there. As you can see, so I'm a bit of a Hummer fan. But let's get back to talking about these. All right, so both of these trucks or vehicles both have hard body shells on them. And they're also super detailed. You can see. Now, both of these vehicles are full drive. They both have open differentials. They both have uh, independent suspension. They both have double wish bones, dog bones, double wish dog bones, <laughs> if I said that right. Uh, both have 60 millimeter damper and shocks. Both have 1.9 wheels and tires. Uh, both having 540 series brush motors, and there is a little bit more difference between these two. Now, let's go ahead and get into talking about the old school one here. So this is the old school, and that's the new school, all right? Now, this right here, my friends, is the N1025 Humvee from Tamiya. This vehicle came out in 1995 as a ready to run and kit build. So this is considered to be a very rare, rare and vintage RC. This vehicle, my friends, at the time of filming this video, it's 25 years old, my friends, believe it or not. Most of us don't have RCs that old. Most of us don't have real cars that old. If you do, it's probably a classic, or you just don't get out and drive or anything, or you just you have really very good luck with your cars. But 25 years old, my friends, and it's still running today. It doesn't see much outside because it's you know it's just an old vehicle, and I'm very afraid to take it out and break something because finding parts for a 20 five year old vehicle is not easy. When I first got this vehicle, it took me about a month to get the parts that I needed from the body shell, the tires, and such on a couple little small other things for it. But it's still an awesome vehicle. Now, this is said to be 112th scale. Now, the body is 112th scale, but it's mounted on a 110th scale Torrin chassis, which is a TA01 slash 02 chassis. And for what I understand about the Tamiya Humvee is that the TA01 chassis was the start of Tamiya getting into the Torrin cars. So, it's kind of a piece of history, I guess you want to say. And they also call this the Manta Ray chassis. So as you see, pretty much basic torn chassis look to it. If we can get some light there. Our motor is in the rear. So, like I said, it does have some pretty amazing detail. The tires. All right, so that is the M1025 Humvee. Now, let's take a look at what is called the P408 US military vehicle from HG. This vehicle came out in mid-October of 2019, actually, and this is a one-tenth scale version. So as you see, a lot big, a bigger difference in, as far as size of it. So we have one-tenth scale, all right? hard body shell, but has a lot more features than what the Tamiya Humvee, all right? So first off, you see the amazing detail in the body. Everything opens up, the hood opens up, the door handles, like you actually have to click the door handles. It shows off the amazing interior in it. All the doors open up, the back of the lid opens up, even this top opens up, the torrent opens up so you can get in there. You actually have to latch them back down. <laughs> you got 
1.9 wheels and tires actually bead lock tires on this this has a fully metal chassis and suspension parts versus the Tamiya one only has plastic all plastic so yeah <laughs> all right. take a look underneath this thing is pretty heavy so I'm not gonna try to hold it up too much but check it out my friends amazing detail in this truck From the little exhaust pipe right there, if you guys can see that, it runs up the truck, straight up to the motor where it's supposed to be at. We got our, what some people like to call the gear reduction or portals in it. This vehicle also has a two-speed transmission, so you have a high gear and a low gear. Um, yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of features that this, one that the HG Humvee has than the Tamiya. This has a single speed transmission, uh, nothing to it. It has uh, open differentials. It has the standard Tamiya front differential and it has a ball bearing differential in the back. Now the HG Humvee comes with open differentials or locking differentials. You cannot lock the differentials through the controller like a Traxxas TRX4 well, you had to do it manually, which is not hard to do at all, but you have the option to running open diffs if you want, or you can lock them up. But it's still extremely awesome vehicle, and I really do like it. I love the scaleness of it, the detail, just amazing work. And as you guys can see, so much detail in that truck. Now, the question is, which one of these two is my favorite? All right. Now you're probably saying hands down, it's going to be the HG. It's got a lot more features and capabilities, you know, the size of it. It's, it's going to be your favorite. Well, my friends, both of them are my favorite. I can't, you know, I can't say, I can't say which one's my favorite. Uh, I do love all the features of the HG Humvee. It does, it has a lot of great features, but I really do love the Tamiya Humvee. And why do I love the Tamiya Humvee? Well, here it is, my friends, all right? So the Tamiya Humvee was my actual first RC build, kind of. It was just like my first restoration restore project on an RC. I bought this one in 2017. And when I got in, it needed a lot of work. There was a crack in the body shell, the tires were dry and rotted, there's a couple parts that were broken on it, the motor was broke, there's no electronics. So I had to find all these parts for it. And it took me a good while to find the parts because this is a 25 year old vehicle, my friends. And finding parts for a 25 year old vehicle can be tough sometimes. It's like going to an auto parts store and you have a 73 something and you're not really gonna find the parts for that. <laughs> so the older, the older vehicles get, you really can't find parts for and it took me, like I said, about a month just to track down all the parts for this stuff. I had to translate some languages just so I could order the parts I needed. So this is my first true RC build. And this is what got me started in building my RCs versus buying the RCs right out the box and everything. So that's why I love this vehicle. Now. The Tamiya Humvee doesn't see outside much. You can probably see that the wheels are all nice and shiny. It's because it doesn't really see out much outside. It's just because I'm afraid that something might break on this vehicle because of plastic, you know, being from 95 versus 2020. <laughs> uh, so, but it'll eventually get back out there. But it's just such a really cool vehicle. And this is. Basically a piece of history, I guess you want to say. It was a very simple rig, and it would make it so simple. I'll take the body shell off so you can actually see it. Now, here it is, my friends. Look at this. This is 1995 RCs. 
Look at the dry shaft. A little thin rod. Crazy. Now, of course, all the electronics has been stripped out of it. Currently in other vehicles, but I do got the motor in there. So now I would take the body shell off the HG, but it's a lot of work. There's about eight screws that you have to take off because it's bolted down to the chassis itself. So yeah, it's a nightmare to get that thing off, but yeah. All right, my friends. So that is both of the US military Humvees that I have. And I really do love both these trucks. I can't say this is my favorite. And that's not, they're both my favorite. All my RCs are my favorite. That's the reason why I got all my RCs, all right? I bought them because those are the ones that I really liked. How this turned into a room tour of the vehicles when it's supposed to be about <laughs> the Hummers. <laughs> I don't know, my friends. All right, my friends, so hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs like button. Uh, also, if you got any questions about either one of these vehicles, I will be happy to answer these questions for you, my friends. So just comment down below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I possibly can for you folks. Uh, if there's anything you'd like to see on the channel, just uh, let me know. And uh, yeah. All right, my friends, so thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next upcoming RC videos. Thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel. Make sure you also subscribe and click that notification bell, so that way you'll know when I got a new video coming out. All right, my friends, so again, thank you for watching, and thank you, everyone, for it all.